Welcome, in this video I'm going to cover 10 fundamental reasons Litecoin is insanely undervalued right now and why I am loading up on it currently and will continue to do so into this next bull market. Right now, at today's price, presenting a 1 to 34 risk to reward ratio with my lowest target in mind. So let's talk about reason number one why Litecoin is extremely undervalued. The first thing we're taking a look at is usage. Is Litecoin actually being used? And if so, how much is it being used compared to other cryptocurrencies? Well, we're taking a look at BitPay, one of the leading crypto payment processors in the world and seeing the numbers. In June, Litecoin actually surpassed Bitcoin and was the most commonly used cryptocurrency for transactions for that month. In July and August, we saw that it was almost equal to Bitcoin but it was second place these last two months. Either way, it's significantly undervalued compared to how much that it's being used in the real world. Now let's move on to reason number two why Litecoin is so undervalued. Reason number two is that we recently had the third Litecoin halving. Historically, after the Litecoin halving is the best possible time to start loading up and accumulating Litecoin and it also has always signaled that the bottom is already in. So we know where to place a stop loss if our idea is in fact going to be correct. And with this in mind, placing our stop loss at the lows of this particular bear market, we have a one to 34 risk to reward ratio targeting the lowest of the transaction value model targets, which I'll get into in just a second. But if we take a look, now is the time to buy if we're using these Litecoin halvings as any sort of indication. Please allow just a moment of interruption to announce my affiliate Bing X very quickly. I want to introduce Bing X Exchange to you guys because I'm a big fan. They allow you to trade Forex, crypto, stocks, indices, and commodities all on one platform with good competitive fees and no KYC needed. They're also hosting a limited time Trade Pro exclusive event for my viewers. There's only eight days, 22 hours left for this, and it's limited to the first 50 users, but you can get additional rewards like making a deposit, $50 bonus, making a trade of 3000 USDT volume or higher, get an additional $100 and a bunch more. So check out the notes and terms to see the specific rules for this but make sure that you sign up if you want to get these bonuses before the 50 uh, user limit is up or the time runs out now check it out with my link in the description down below and I'd appreciate that now let's get back to the video reason number three is that Litecoin offers optional privacy using Mimblewimble this allows that users to conceal the addresses and amounts involved in a transaction from everyone except for those participating in the transaction. The fact that this is an optional privacy feature that you can choose to use or not is one thing that sets Litecoin apart from a lot of other cryptocurrencies. Reason number four is that Litecoin is not a security. It's a hard fork of Bitcoin, which was already declared as not a security. So we don't have to worry about regulators coming in and saying that it's a security down the line, which can negatively impact our investment. Reason number five is that Litecoin is insanely reliable. It's more reliable than Bitcoin because it has 100% uptime since its inception about 12 years ago, while Bitcoin doesn't quite have 100% uptime. It's the longest running crypto with the most reliability, which makes it have more trust to it. Time equals trust. When something works well for a long time, that builds trust. Reason number six is that Litecoin had a fair launch. Litecoin was not pre-mined or distributed via an airdrop or ICO, so there's no sort of incentive to fake pump it or there's no founder stash to dump on the market. It simply was a fair launch, which also helps with not coming under regulatory pressure. Reason number seven is how widespread Litecoin is and how easy it is to access. Pretty much all exchanges support Litecoin. If an exchange supports Bitcoin, it probably also supports Litecoin more so than almost any other cryptocurrency possibly other than maybe Ethereum. But Ethereum, Litecoin, and Bitcoin have that kind of push because they are the originals. They are the ones that people know. They are the ones that have been around and proven themselves. So Litecoin is one of those originals that really has 
access to everyone on all exchanges. Reason number eight, Litecoin is merge mined with Dogecoin, which makes mining more profitable. This is another factor is that Elon Musk is a fan of Dogecoin. He's the one who kind of shouted it out and definitely uh, helped it have its incredible pump a couple years ago. Um, seeing as Dogecoin is closely connected to Litecoins as they are merge mined, probably means that he's also a fan of Litecoin, which could in fact be something we see pop up in the future. And that's just speculation. But um, the fact that they're merge mined is mainly a big deal because it makes mining Litecoin more profitable. It's more incentive to pay attention to Litecoin. Reason number nine is that Litecoin is fast, four times faster than Bitcoin with 10 minute block times and Litecoin having two and a half minute block times makes it better for transactions. Simple as that. The tenth and final reason is that Litecoin has low fees of only a cent or maybe a few cents. While Bitcoin does have a huge variability, but typically it's going to be a few dollars. So Litecoin simply has cheap fees. Now, let's take a look at the actual chart and the transaction value model and talk about some price targets. Why I got my one to 34 risk to reward ratio targeting the lowest logical level. All right, let's take a look at the actual Litecoin chart as well as the Litecoin against Bitcoin chart and also discuss this network value model, which kind of projects a fair current market value for Litecoin. But today it rests around 1000 or even higher for Litecoin's price based on the essentially the actual usage of Litecoin. Um, so we can see how undervalued it is as of today, which is another reason I'm so interested in it. And for the stop loss here, it's based on that we've already had our Litecoin having over a month ago, and it has always marked that the low of the bear market is already in. So I'm placing that stop loss to the low of this bear market and that gives us our 1 to 34 risk to reward ratio targeting the lowest part of this network value model if we aim towards the higher par portion of it we get a 1 to 49 risk to reward ratio uh, but at the lower end of it we get around a 1 to 34 um, but either way this is going to be that target that i'm expecting litecoin will gravitate towards um, in this next bull market now let's talk about this network value model. It's uh, essentially giving a fair market value for Litecoin based on a few factors, which we'll take a look at here. And we'll go to about this script. So as it says, the master Litecoin network value model takes the following six network values for Litecoin. It compares them to Bitcoin's network values to determine a fair value based on Litecoin's network usage compared to Bitcoin's. So we can apply it to the Litecoin chart and based on things like new addresses, total addresses, active addresses, uh, volume, transactional accounts, um, we can take a look at what the fair value of Litecoin should be today based on those factors and its actual usage in the real world, okay? So that is why I'm expecting we see Litecoin head up towards the thousand figure in this next run. Now, let's get rid of this and we can just take a look at this as an overall trend where we have a big push to the upside followed by a multi-year consolidation sideways. Typically after we have a big push up followed by consolidation, there's another push up to continue the trend. And I think that that's what we're going to be seeing out of here. We should see a huge move to the upside and essentially outperforming Bitcoin and most of the other market pairs. That's why I'm so interested in Litecoin. It's been building up and accumulating all of this time, getting ready for this next move. And if we take a look at Litecoin against Bitcoin, we can just see how undervalued it is. It's down something like 95% since it's all time high. There's so much room to the upside to outperform. Um, and there's no reason fundamentally why this should be going down so much uh, against Bitcoin, which means it's just a matter of time, in my opinion, that we see this thing really take off and outperform the market. OK, so that's my idea. That's why I like Litecoin. The 10 fundamental reasons why I believe it will outperform and um, get to at least a thousand on this next run, if not much higher as this goes up the network value model should 
keep improving. So if we take a look at other times, we can see at the bottoming, the network value was here, but then on the actual run, it continued to increase and it went way beyond where the value was back here. So there's no reason that it can't go all the way up and surpass this area um, into the multiple thousands per Litecoin. So we'll see what happens, but just based on what I have in fundamental analysis and also the technicals here, I think that we're gonna see a surprising run. A lot of people say Litecoin's dead and it's definitely one of the cryptos that are most hated on. Um, but normally when everyone says something is dead or going to zero, that's right when it really surprises everyone. So we'll see how it performs, but that will wrap things up for this video. Just wanted to give my reasoning behind loading up on Litecoin right now and see what people have to say. Uh, if they agree, disagree, then let me know. Comment down below um, what you think about Litecoin. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, uh, and subscribe if you haven't, if you like this type of content, you like trading content in general. Uh, but that will wrap things up for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day.